close your eyes and watch your breath. Why do you watch the breath? Because the breath is here in the present moment, and you want to be able to see your mind in the present moment, so the breath is a good anchor. So take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths and see how it feels. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change the rhythm. Try to find a way of breathing that feels good in the present moment, because that'll help make it easier to stay here. Now, why do we want to watch the mind? Is because the mind is what creates a lot of what goes on in our lives. The way you react to things, the way you understand things, the way you will then act on them are all shaped by the states of your mind. And so you want to be very careful to do your best to put the mind in a good state, because otherwise you're going to end up doing things that you later regret, things that are harmful to yourself, harmful to others. So you want a place of well-being here in the present moment, so you can watch the mind and notice when it's going off in the wrong direction. When greed comes up and you realize this is going to get you in trouble, you're going to do things under the force of that greed that you later regret, Okay, then you can just let it go. You don't have to get involved with it, you don't have to take it on as your greed. Our problem is that everything comes up in the mind. We think, well, this is how I feel about things, this is what I think about things, and then you just run with it, and it's already sneaked in. It's like a spy from someplace else who comes in and tries to undo you many times, because if greed comes in, it's going to act for your detriment. If anger comes in, it's going to act for your detriment. So you want to catch these spies before they take over and become what you think you are and what you think you want to do. You remind yourself that you want to act in a way that is going to be good for yourself, good for others, because that leads to a happiness that's long-term. This is what wisdom is all about, is finding the long-term happiness and learning how to resist the, appeal, the appeals of short-term happiness that would get in the way of long-term happiness. So when you have this sense of well-being going right here and you're alert right here, you're in a much better position to take more control of your life, better shape of your life. So this is a good skill to develop, the ability to just step back from your thoughts, step back from your feelings, and just breathe deeply. Have a sense of well-being right here, and then look at those thoughts and say, well, are they really worth following? Because some thoughts, of course, are worth following, but you have to be careful. You can't just jump into every car that comes running past. You can't jump into every thought that comes up into the mind. You've got to be in a position where you are able to withstand the ones that you know are going to lead to harm further down the line and to encourage the ones that may not be all that appealing right now, but will lead to happiness further down the line. So put yourself in a position of strength here. Be very clearly here in the present moment, watching things that are going on. Otherwise, someplace down in the mind is making the decisions, and you're not really sure who it is. It's like the, being the president of a company, and the lower level management is making all the decisions and not letting you know. You want to know what's going on, so you can apply your wisest reflections to what you want to do, what you want to say, what you want to think. And this way your control of your mind is good not only for you, but also for the people around you. It leads to a lot more peace in life. If each person were to look after his or her own mind, the world would be a much better place. But you can't wait for the other people to do that. You've got to start doing it yourself. If we wait for everybody else, well, everybody's going to die first before we get any, any improvement. But if it starts with this person, that person, or bit by bit by bit, at the very least, those people are making their lives a better place, their world a better place. So try to master this skill. It's a very useful one to have.